Most people think the ground under their house is solid, but in much of Appalachia, especially Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia, that's just an illusion. Right beneath your feet, rainwater is dissolving limestone, creating hidden caverns and thinning the earth, sometimes leaving nothing but a fragile arch holding everything up. Over 54,000 sinkholes have been documented in Tennessee alone, and that's likely just the beginning. The unsettling truth, every storm inches the ground closer to collapse. Just how hollow is the land you trust to hold your life? A line runs through the heart of the Appalachian region, stretching from Pennsylvania to Alabama, where the ground is anything but unstable. On federal risk maps, this corridor shows up as a band of red cutting across Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, and into West Virginia. That color isn't for tornadoes or earthquakes, it's for collapse. Here, the surface rests on a foundation of limestone, a rock that dissolves in rainwater. The result is a landscape riddled with caves, uh, tunnels, and voids, sometimes just feet below homes, schools, and highways. Tennessee sits at the center of this zone. State surveys have mapped more than 54,000 sinkholes within its borders, but even that staggering number is just a starting point. Geologists stress that these are only the sinkholes that have been found, ones big enough to show up on old topographic maps or visible in open fields. Smaller collapses, hidden by trees or paved over by development, rarely make it onto official records. In similar karst regions, when scientists go back with high-resolution LIDAR, the count often doubles or triples. That means the true number in Tennessee and across the region is far higher than what's on paper. Karst terrain doesn't respect property lines or city limits. It runs beneath rural valleys, small towns, and sprawling suburbs. The Valley and Ridge province in Virginia is a prime example where folded and fractured limestone forms a natural network of underground channels. These cracks and fissures act as highways for water, carving out new spaces in the rock every year. The Cave Conservancy of the Virginias describes this region as ground that's designed to collapse, not by accident, but by the very process that built the landscape. The red shading on risk maps isn't just a warning for remote farmland. It cuts straight through places where people live and work. Major highways, schools, shopping centers, all perched above a layer that can quietly erode for decades before giving way. Official inventories may show scattered dots and polygons, but geologists know those dots are just the ones we've found so far. In karst country, the absence of a sinkhole on the map doesn't mean solid ground. It often just means no one has looked closely yet. For millions in the Appalachian Corridor, the ground beneath their feet is part of an active system, hollow, shifting, and always one storm closer to change. Most will never see a map of what's really below their backyard, but the risk is mapped, measured, and growing. Every rainstorm in Appalachia does more than soak the ground. It starts a chemical reaction that eats away at the rock itself. As raindrops fall, they pick up carbon dioxide from the air and from the soil. The result is a weak carbonic acid, harmless to people, but relentless against limestone. Each drop that seeps through the earth carries this acid deep into cracks and fissures where it quietly dissolves the calcium carbonate, holding the bedrock together. This isn't a process measured in eons. It happens storm by storm, year by year, often within a single lifetime. Underground, water follows the fractures left by ancient mountain building. The acid slowly widens these pathways, turning hairline cracks into tunnels and tunnels into chambers. With every heavy rain, a little more limestone vanishes, carried away as invisible ions. Above, the ground looks unchanged. Grass grows. Driveways stay smooth, buildings stand undisturbed. But beneath the surface, void is growing. The soil above these voids doesn't immediately collapse. 
it forms a kind of natural bridge, what geologists call a soil arch. For years, that arch can hold up the weight of everything above it, from backyards to highways. But this arch is always thinning. Water moving through the soil picks up fine particles and drops them into the growing cavity, grain by grain. The process is subtle, almost silent. Most people never notice. Yet every rainstorm accelerates it, washing away just a little more support. The void expands, the arch weakens. Sometimes the soil dries and shrinks after a drought, opening new cracks that let even more water through. Uh, sometimes a heavy load, uh, a new building, a parked truck, adds just enough pressure to push the arch closer to failure. The unsettling truth is that the ground beneath much of Appalachia is not a solid platform, but a shifting layer shaped by water and time. The chemistry of rain, the structure of the rock, and the slow movement of soil all work together to create a hidden instability. The surface stays calm until the day the support below is gone. The ground doesn't just shift in theory, it fails in public. In Bowling Green, Kentucky, the floor of the National Corvette Museum collapsed before sunrise. Security cameras caught the moment eight cars, some worth more than a house, dropped out of sight. What looked like solid concrete gave way to a, to a pit deep enough to swallow a city bus. Engineers traced the cause to a void in the limestone hidden until the weight above became too much. In Asheville, North Carolina, a parking lot opened into a sinkhole, 36 feet wide and 30 feet deep. The gap was large enough to bury, it, bury a three-story building. Cars disappeared. The building next door was condemned. Business, businesses closed, caught in a dispute over who would pay for repairs. A fight between property owners, insurers, and the city, each pointing to rain, pipes, and the ground itself as the culprit. Major roads have failed in Virginia's Valley and Ridge, where a section of interstate once dropped without warning, forcing emergency crews to close lanes and reroute traffic for weeks. In some towns, sinkholes have swallowed parts of homes and even public buildings, leaving families and city officials with no choice but to evacuate and hope the ground holds somewhere else. The price tag for all this? Across the United States, sinkhole damage racks up over $300 million a year. That doesn't count the lost value of condemned buildings or the cost to families forced out overnight. Most homeowners only learn after the fact that standard insurance doesn't cover collapse. In many Appalachian states, sinkhole protection is an extra policy, one most people never consider until the ground is already gone. Heavy rain transforms the ground beneath Appalachian towns from stable to precarious in a matter of hours. When a storm hits, water doesn't just pool on the surface, it seeps down, saturating the soil and adding weight above hidden voids. Saturated soil presses harder on the thin arch of earth that spans these underground cavities. At the same time, water rushing through cracks and channels carries away fine particles enlarging the empty spaces below. The balance holding up yards, driveways, and roads becomes more fragile with each passing storm. After Hurricane Helene swept through the region in 2024, reports of new sinkholes surged across Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, and Western North Carolina. Roads damaged by flooding began to sag and split open in the weeks following the storm, engineers documented a sharp increase in ground failures, evidence that intense rainfall isn't just a problem for rivers, but for the land itself. Warning signs often appear quietly, sometimes only after the worst storms. Cracks form in foundations, walls or pavement growing wider with each rain. Doors and, and windows that once fit perfectly start to jam or stick. Floors, patios, or sidewalks may begin to slope or pull away from the house. Depressions or soft spots emerge in lawns. 
often circular and deepening over time. Fence posts, utility poles, or trees tilt for no clear reason. Pavement develops new cracks or dips, especially along drainage lines. After a storm, water may pool in places that always drained before, or while water turns cloudy and muddy. Any one of these signs can be explained away by age or weather, but in karst country, a pattern of these changes is a warning that the ground is shifting below. Millions live above this unstable layer, most never realizing that every storm tests the strength of the soil arch beneath their feet. As storms grow stronger and more frequent, the risk grows with them. Every new storm carves silent space beneath Appalachian towns. As rainfall grows more intense and development spreads, hidden ground failures become less rare and more personal. The earth below isn't fixed, it's always changing. For millions, the real question is simple. How well do you know what's under your feet? 